Mead says Odin split the sea in two. She's always been partial to a tall tale. But there's tall, and then there's tall. I struggle to believe it myself. I see your uncle isn't with you. He stayed with the Enterprise. After our brush with the Einherjah, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows a shipwright in Randalar. We're to join him there when we're ready to sail for Ash. You sure that's wise? Last I heard, the place was still overrun with Akashic. Show me a city where that isn't true. Ultima's plague is spreading. We're running out of time, aren't we? We've done our best to shore up the hideaway. I doubt a few planks will stop what's coming. Still, we'll keep at it. Every little helps, I suppose. Let's hope so. I should visit Joshua. Assuming Tai will allow it. Fancy a look at the list, do you? Anything catch your eye? Seen enough? Sure. Better than I was. But not nearly as well as you should be. Your cuts and burns may have healed, but your body still bears the burden of every spell cast. Then what would you have had me do? It was no ordinary foe we faced. It was the Warden of Darkness. Yet still, it was not enough. The King could have ended me at any moment, but instead chose to toy with me like a curl does a mouse. You underestimate yourself. Oh, it was crystal clear. Only one man established his dominance that day, and that man was Barnabas. I'm sorry, brother. That was ill-spoken. It's just... I have never felt so powerless, and when so many are looking to us for strength, perhaps... Uh, perhaps the prince feels the same. this place <gasps> don't move It's fresh from the well.
grandmother told me spirits sometimes get lost and that the lanterns guide them to their proper place. I set one on the river for her when she passed away. still say it were a compliment. Ah, Clive. I was wondering when you'd arrive. Please tell me you've come to take our young prodigy here off my hands. I'm not here for mid. I need information on Ash. Then why not ask Molly if you can look in one of her ovens? <sighs> Go on. As soon as the Enterprise is ready, we'll be setting out for Drake's spine. And we're going to need a safe place to land. Preferably one that won't seem a ship blown to shit and splinters. If it were that easy, do you think Walud would have resisted invasion for so long? Very little is known of Ash, and the information we do have is spotty and outdated. We have the good King Barnabas to thank for that. Walud's borders have been closed to outsiders since the day he seized the throne. If there is anywhere safe to land, you won't find it on my map. Then tell us what we will find. I'm sure you know better than we do. But no splinters! All right, all right, if it will get you out of my hair. But interrupt me, and it's over. Understood? Barnabas Tharm. The one they call the Last King. Understand him, and you will understand the kingdom of Walud. Barnabas was only a boy when he arrived from beyond the southern seas, and barely a man before he united the ragged tribes of Ash. And having unleashed them upon the formidable Veldemark, he set his throne upon the ancient kingdom's ruins. The victory sent shockwaves around Valisthea. Tales of Odin's might spreading through every court, parlor, and drinking hall in the realm. Note that this was in the year 843, and that the king still sits upon his throne some 40 years later, quite untouched by time. Walud's recent inaction left many wondering if Odin had lost his appetite for war. And yet here we are. The Einherjar was committed to the fray, a bold declaration of intent. Orcs swarm around Drake's Fang, and throngs of Akashic haunt canvas streets. Though how precisely the havoc they wreak serves Walud remains unclear. Regardless, if the order to attack truly came from King Barnabas, then one thing is certain. Walud has achieved the impossible and made bedfellows of beast men and the ether adult alike. All of which is a roundabout way of saying that you will be in unknown territory when you set foot on Ash. Much of the continent has already been lost to the blight and what few ports remain will be fiercely guarded. And that is to say naught of its natural defenses. Offshore currents will cast an ill-equipped ship out to sea one moment and dash it against the rocks the next. But then the Enterprise is anything but ill-equipped. And Mid has made land there before. Now, if only there were someone with an intimate knowledge of the Shadow Coast, 
and where a daring gentleman might put ashore. Tell me we run out of Papio nuts and all. Yeah. What'd you want? No scratches, right? I have no reason to assume. Clive, you must listen to this. Lawsman, tell him. Do you recall when we spoke before on the divinity of Ultima? Well, it inspired me to delve deeper into the subject. And what I discovered appears to agree with the findings of His Grace. You will recall that my quest to uncover Ultima's origins began with the mural at Phoenix Gate. But while I've always known it to be important, its secrets have heretofore eluded me. Now, however, I believe I know where to find a more complete example. One that will reveal all we seek. Master Clive, have you ever in your travels chanced to hear of the Circle of Malleus? I would think not, if you have. But there was once a time when the faith flourished, the oldest known religion in the Twins. And though its popularity eventually waned on storm, hints of its dogma remain embedded in more modern faiths such as the Crystalline Orthodox. Wait, you said it waned on storm. What of ash? Religious monuments are often torn down or repurposed when new faiths rise to prominence. But if no new faith arose, then perhaps the ancient temples might still stand. And so, you see now why I must accompany you to Walud. It would appear the past still has much to teach us. Though in this case, it would not have been possible without the musings of Moss. <laughs> to think that you carried a copy of my old mentor's chronicles all along. I am relieved to discover it in good hands. I shall guard it with my life. Joshua, if you're finished here, join me in the ale hall. I need to speak to everyone before we leave. Right away. If it please your grace, might I one day borrow the Mick said I can ride the Enterprise next. Of course. No, she didn't. She said I... My apologies. By now you've all heard where we're going and why. So I won't bother you with the boring details, only the important ones. If we attempt to approach Stone here by sea, there's a good chance we'll be sighted and fall prey to the capital's artillery. So instead, we'll disembark on the southwest coast and make for Drake's spine on foot. I say we, but... It's highly likely the entirety of Ash is under the rule of Ultima. A large party would only attract unwanted attention. As well as slow our march, and require supplies which may be difficult to obtain. Only Joshua and I will be going. And a scout. Preferably a good one. Gav, do you know of any? You bet your ass I do. 
Might still borrow some of Lady Vivian's maps, though. Just in case, like. Once you've dropped us off at the Shadow Coast, you need to retreat into neutral waters, fly merchant colors, and stay inconspicuous. If you sense any danger at all, you leave us behind and return to Storm. Inconspicuous is my middle name. But like hell am I leaving anyone behind. The ship ain't going nowhere till your scurvy mugs are smiling on deck. Jill, the Enterprise will appear a tempting target for royalists and pirates alike. You're to stop anyone boarding. Don't worry. I'll keep the ship and her crew safe. You'll be needing passage home, after all. But... Very well. If there are no questions, I'll see you all at the docks. Let me know when you're leaving. I want a word before you go. Of course. There's no way of knowing if Doris will confide in me, but I can speak to her at least. Covered in nicks of lumps, the lot of them. It's a wonder they can still walk. You said. I'm looking for Doris. Is she here? I'm afraid not. She's at Martha's rest on a job. My job, actually. When she heard what the mission was, she insisted on going herself. Alone. Did she? What was the mission? Following up on some new information. Once they'd settled in, the bearers you helped liberate in the Dragon's Airy were keen to talk about their imprisonment. And about their captor. The slaver Cole's team were tracking when they were attacked by the beastmen. I'll go and find her. She's at Martha's rest, you say? If she's not moved on already, yes. I hope everything's all right. Why would Doris insist on going alone? Maybe Cole was right to be worried. How do you split the sea? My Lord Marquis. Yote, is anything the matter? You seem troubled. Perhaps I might be able to help. My Lord. Y yes. Perhaps you might. It's your brother. His condition continues to worsen, though he does his best to hide it. The lesion on his chest pains him more with each passing day. I had feared as much. 
There are certain elixirs which can ease the suffering of those afflicted by the curse, but... But? But His Grace's case is severe. The drafts I have been able to prepare for him thus far have ceased to have any real effect. So I consulted with Tarya and certain of my comrades among the Undying about the possibility of finding something stronger. And thankfully, a recipe was found. The only problem being that the critical ingredient is exceptionally hard to come by. And our supplies are almost exhausted. Unless we can secure more soon, your brother's anguish will likely become unbearable. My lord, I know that I have no right to make demands of you. But would you help? For Joshua's sake. For Joshua? Anything? Thank you, my lord. So, what is this critical ingredient? A rare herb by the name of Stonerwort. It grows only where the ether is densest. The vigor it stores in its stems helps to counteract the curse. We discovered a patch near the aqueduct in Rosaria. But alas, yet more ether has erupted from the earth there recently, leaving the whole area flooded. The search continues for a new source. One that we might reach without being turned. So it's only that you can't reach it? The stone and water itself is unharmed by the flood. Well, yes, but... Then I shall go in your stead. Oh, but, my lord... You've yet to find another source, correct? So for now, the aqueduct is our best hope. Besides, I'm a dominant. The ether can't hurt me. Well... Something wrong. Not at all. Honestly. Can't a man wish his friend farewell? Just wanted to let you know that I'll keep things in order while you're off saving the world. I'll hold you to that. Reckon it'll be a long walk to the capital if we follow the cliffs. I'll scout ahead, see if I can't find us an inland route. Clive. Mm -hmm. There's something I've been meaning to ask. You took her icon, didn't you? Yes, I did. She understood. Oh, she understood. Understood that you decided to save the world all on your own, and that you'd die without her power. How dare you make her choose? You knew damn well she'd never refuse you. But I will. 
You can't keep pushing us away, Clive. The world is ours to save, not yours. I used my gift because I thought it was the... Always wanted to visit Ash. We're in Waluda territory now. Don't expect a warm welcome. Oh, I don't know, Clive. That castle over there looks inviting enough. Shall we sample its inhabitants' hospitality? Run like the wind. Remember what I said about warm welcomes, Gav? Uh, this place is as dead as Greek as ghost. I knew I smelled something. I see only orcs and Kashik here. Let's hope the villagers made it out in time. all over again. Where the hell are the royalists? Seems you were right about that welcome after all, Clyde. No peace delegation. We should send a warning to the others. No. My uncle will have an eye on the coast. I trust he'll find a way to entertain any uninvited guests. Our mark is Drake's spine, and there's a lot of road between us and it. We press on to stone here. Aye, you never know. It might not be an Estes Labyrinth monsters. <sighs> Clive, you must go on ahead without me. This stronghold is as old as Phoenix Gate, perhaps older. It may yet hide Ultima's remaining secrets, and if we are to best him, 
They must be unearthed. All right. Stay out of trouble. I always do. Mostly. You sure about this? About leaving my brother on his own? Of course. Mostly. Lady Vivian's map is so old, it's hard to tell which way is on. But if I'm right, we're not far from a village called Eastland. Then we make our way there, resupply, and wait for Joshua. like a mobile's asshole. Though I'm guessing it's not the smell that'll kill us. Breath. Uh, don't look down, Toggle. That must be Estla. Straight home now. What do you think, Clive? Then we're too late. Damn it. They're all turned. There's nothing we can do. I wouldn't say nothing. No quarter gas! No quarter!
Gav. Gav! Don't tell me there's more of the bastards. Oh, fuck. Have you come to watch, Odin? Bound for stone here. Good. My master awaits you in the capital, though I cannot allow you to attend him in your present state. And how are you going to stop us? Why, with this! What did you do? If the vessel would see the path opened, it has but to ask. I shall see that my master's prize is made. Presentable. Maybe there's something here we can use. I thought we got them all. So did I. If Barnabas is controlling the Akashic, then wherever he goes, they'll follow. And so will I.
This is it, boy. I've come for you, Barnabas. Stay close, Torgo. tower. It's alive.
If I were Barnabas, where would I be? The top? So I could look down on the world. Expected a full-out rest. Yeah. 